So for the do now, again, your assigning oxidation numbers. So number one is having you practice assigning oxidation numbers for kind of this complex chemical formula. And then two and three are balancing half reactions. And I even said give states of matter because mastering on some of the half reactions says include phases. If it says include phases, make sure to include states of matter. If it doesn't say to include states of matter, you don't have to worry about it. So uh, for number one, what's the oxidation number for molybdenum, which is MO, in this chemical formula? So you look at this and you're like, <laughs> what? So here's how I would work through this. This is what I would do. So start with oxygen. Remember, almost always oxygen is minus two when it's in a compound. So I'm going to start with oxygen being minus two. Each oxygen is negative two. So total, all of these oxygens have a total oxidation state of minus eight. Now notice how there's no charge up here. So all of the oxidation numbers have to add up to equal zero, all of the total oxidation numbers. Now when you look at NH4, I will still assign individual oxidation numbers to N and to H, but remember that NH4 is a polyatomic ion. NH4 is ammonium. It's NH4 plus one. And so I can use the idea that this entire thing, this single NH4 has a plus one charge because it's normally a polyatomic ion. So I'm going to use that to help me assign these oxidation numbers. Hydrogen, whenever it's with a non-metal, so nitrogen is a non-metal. Whenever hydrogen is with a non-metal, it carries a plus one oxidation number. There are four of them, so total I'm just focusing on one of these NH4s. So total, all of the Ns would be plus four. Now because NH4 carries a plus one charge on that polyatomic ion, each N, well all of the Ns have to add up to minus three, but there's only one. So N is minus three, H is plus one. Because again, if you looked at ammonium on its own, NH4 plus one, Anytime you have a polyatomic ion, the oxidation numbers are never going to change. If you have NH4+, plus, whether it's NH4Cl or NH42SO4, right, no matter what, if you have NH4, the ammonium polyatomic ion, the oxidation numbers are always the same. Now, I'm going to use the idea that NH4 is plus 1. Right? The entire NH4 polyatomic ion is plus 1. There are two of them. So total, all of these NH4s will carry a total oxidation state of plus two. Now you could look at the Ns and the Hs individually, but we can simplify it by saying we know that ammonium is NH4 plus one. So the idea that NH4, all of them together are plus two, all of the oxygens together are minus eight, you are now figuring out what does molybdenum have to be to add to two and negative eight to get to zero. So just ask yourself, we have two plus X plus negative eight equals zero. I think about what I would need to add here. All of the molybdenums would need to be plus six. There's only one molybdenum. So here are the oxidation numbers. And now this just wanted molybdenum, but it's good practice to assign oxidation numbers to everything. So molybdenum is plus six because two plus six is eight, eight minus eight is zero. Again, you could do the same thing if you wanted to do like, well, you know, N is minus three, there's two of them, that's minus six. This would be plus eight, right? You work through that way, that's fine but using the polyatomic ions charge is a simpler way. Questions on assigning oxidation numbers? So if not, we'll go to um, number two and three. So again, 
two and three are balancing half reactions. So when we're looking at these balancing half reactions, again, these are from number 21. So number 21, number 21. 21 is a long question on mastering. But it's not, it's not that every single one is a balancing. It's like balance this half reaction is an oxidation or reduction, things like that. Um, and you're just balancing half reactions in 21. It's not a full reaction. You're balancing the half reactions. So if we take a look at number two, balance the following half reaction and give states of matter. So remember in your notes, in your notes on page seven, looks like this. This, this is that half reaction method. So these are the steps you want to go through as you're balancing half reactions. Do not skip steps. Even if it looks like it's good, just go through the steps just to make sure. So the first thing is to write formulas and assign oxidation numbers um, so that you can then break the equation into oxidation and reduction half reactions. Now, if you want to assign oxidation numbers, you can, um, but since this is already broken up into a half reaction, we don't need to figure out whether it's oxidation or reduction. Um, we're actually going to use the electrons to figure that out. Um, and so we have a half reaction already. The next thing is to balance the reactions for all atoms except O and H. So really in this, I'm looking at titanium. I have one titanium, one titanium. That's good. Then we balance the O's. So then we balance the oxygens, and we balance oxygens using water. So if I look over here, I have two oxygens. Over here, I have none. Well, to balance, I would need two H2Os. Now, I'm just going to label the states of matter for, like, initially as I add things, and we'll go back in and we'll check states of matter at the end. So... You need to add water to balance your oxygen. So now two oxygens, two oxygens. Then you balance hydrogen. It doesn't matter whether it's acidic or basic. You balance hydrogen using H+. If it's basic, we do that extra step at the end. And so over here I have two times two. I have four hydrogens. Over here I don't have any. So I'm going to add four H+. Plus to the left. Now remember any ions, if it has a charge and it's an ion, it's aqueous. So now we've balanced the atoms, we've balanced O's, we've balanced H's. You can do a quick check to make sure that all of your atoms themselves are balanced. Then you balance charge. When you balance charge, you're adding electrons. So over here, I'll take a look at the total charge on the left side. I have four H pluses, so there's plus four. And um, TiO2 is neutral, there's no charge. So the left side is plus four. The right side, I have one Ti2 plus, so that's plus two. Water is neutral. So I have plus four on the left, plus two on the right. You add electrons to the more positive side. You're not making everything equal zero. You're just making the charges equal. So if I have plus four on the left, plus two on the right, I'm going to add electrons to the more positive side. Electrons do not have a state of matter. They are electrons. And you represent electrons in mastering as E minus. Now, I look at my number of electrons. So my goal is to make plus four equal plus two. So I'm going to add two electrons, because if I add two electrons, electrons are negative. So I'm subtracting two from this charge. That makes this side plus two. So we balance the atoms. Now we balance charge. Now because this is a half reaction, and it says balance the half reactions, so we don't have to worry about making electrons equal and having them cancel because there's only one half reaction here. So it does say give states of matter. So we'll go through and just do a quick check, make sure everything has states of matter. Electrons will not have a state of matter. It's just E minus. 
So we have 2e minus plus 4h plus, which is aqueous, plus TiO2 solid, yields Ti2 plus aqueous plus 2H2O liquid. Now this says it's in acidic solution. When it's in acidic solution, we expect to see H plus. Because remember when we talked about acids and bases, we said that acids, you can tell something is an acid because it produces H plus. So this is actually our final answer. So our final answer is what we had here. Two electrons plus 4H plus plus TiO2 yields Ti2 plus plus 2H2O. So that's the first half reaction. Number three, again, this is another one from 21. So this is another one of the half reactions from 21. This says balance the following half reaction, give states of matter. So this is OH minus yields O2, and it says in basic solution. So again, do not skip steps. Go through these rules. Go through these rules one by one. Make sure you have everything good. So the first thing was to break them into half reactions. We're already in half reactions, so we can actually start at step three. Balance both reactions for everything except for O and H. Well, I don't have anything other than O and H in here. So that step is good. Then it says balance for O. So now oxygen is next. So I have one oxygen on this side. I have two oxygens on the right side. So I need one extra oxygen. Remember that oxygen is balanced using water. So oxygen is balanced using water. So now I have two O's, I have two O's. After oxygen is hydrogen. You always do hydrogen last because there's hydrogen in the water. So if we check hydrogens, we have one, two, three on the left. We have zero on the right. So I need three H pluses on the right. Then we look at charge. So if I look at charge next, because now we've balanced all of our atoms. Do a quick check, make sure right, you have two O's on each side, you have three H's on each side. Now on the left hand side, water is neutral, hydroxide is minus one. So the entire left side is minus one. The entire right side, O2 is neutral, but I have three H pluses, so I have plus three on the right. So we add electrons to the more positive side. So I see that this is the more positive side. Now the question becomes, how many electrons do we need to add? Please be careful with the math. Please be careful with the math. And if you need to do like what I did with the subtraction, then go for it. If I add three electrons here, that puts this at zero. I don't want it at zero. I need it to be at negative one. So I need four electrons here. If I do this, if I do plus three minus four, because that's a negative four, that gives me negative one. So now I have a balanced half reaction. H2O plus OH minus yields O2 plus 3H plus plus four electrons. Now, we're not done. If this were in an acid, we would be done. This is basic solution. So remember the difference between the acidic and the basic is that if it's basic at the very end, you neutralize any H plus with OH minus. So here I have three H pluses. This needs to be neutralized. So I'm going to add three OH minuses. If I'm adding three OH minuses to the right side to neutralize the H plus, I have to add three OH minuses to the left side as well. So when you have a basic solution, you have to do some more manipulating. So now, my H plus and my OH minus, 
in an acid base net ionic equation. So a strong acid, strong base net ionic is H plus plus OH minus yields H2O. So three H pluses plus three OH minuses gives us three H2O. And then you take a look at what you have. So I'm going to I'm going to just erase these H pluses and OH minus here because they've now canceled. So now I have 3 OH minus plus H2O plus OH minus yields O2 plus 3 H2O plus 4 electrons. Do another quick check. Combine like terms and cancel anything out that can be canceled. I notice here I have three waters on the right. And I have one water over here on the left. Well, I can cancel one of these waters. I can cancel the water that's on the left, one of these that's on the right. That gives me 2H2O on the right-hand side. I also notice I have three OH minuses plus OH minus. So I'm just going to combine like terms and say we have four OH minus over here. So now I'm going to rewrite this because I have marks and I have everything everywhere. So I'm going to rewrite this. I have 4 OH minus, which is aqueous, yields O2 gas plus 2 H2O liquid plus 4 electrons. Here is our answer for number 3. Now, because these are only half reactions, it's okay that we still see the electrons. We haven't combined to create an overall equation. We're just creating half reactions. Now, I do want to just point out um, whether both of these were oxidation or reduction, because those are some questions on 21 as well. When you're thinking about oxidation versus reduction, you can remember either Lioger or oil rig. Lose electrons, it's oxidation. Gain electrons, it's reduction. So if I take a look here in number two, their electrons are on the reactant side. So the reactants have to gain the electrons. So they're gaining the electrons to form the products. Number two, is a reduction half reaction. Now, could you look at the oxidation numbers and figure that out as well? Yes. This is minus two, titanium would have to be plus four. Then look at number three. The electrons are on the product side. Think about it in terms of heat. Remember when it was exothermic, heat was a product. It lost the heat. Well, the reactants, lost the electrons in number three because the electrons are on the product side. So lost electrons, number three is actually an oxidation half reaction. So this helps to look at oxidation numbers in number one and then two and three hopefully will help you with uh, some of the questions on mastering specifically 21. So remember, if it says identify phases um, or give phases or states of matter, make sure you include those in your equations. Uh, if it does not specify to identify the states of matter, you do not need them in your equation. So as you take a look at the do now, are there any questions as you look at one, two, or three? 